these are quail eggs. They're very tiny. This is the size of a good sized chicken egg. Latte laid this egg. She is an Easter egger or a green egger compared to these guys. And then after these guys hatch, Two weeks later, you get this size. Hey, I want you to run off. So this is two week size. You can see that it's three inches right there. Huh, good bird. Aren't you cute? Yes, you are. Hello. Here's another one that's two weeks, but this one is the tuxedo. Just a color. Huh. Just a different color. So this is a two week old Katornix quail. Well, I just went to grab some more quail to show you and one laid an egg as soon as I picked her up, kind of like what Latte did to me yesterday. Oh. I just picked up Latte because I thought she looked funny and she just laid an egg right in my hand. This is a four week old quail. This is one that was in my shed. This one, this is the five inch mark right here. So the body stands about four inches. Huh. This one appears to be a boy because it doesn't have spots on its chest. It has this pretty orangey brown color. So this is a boy. This one is a four week old female. She, hey still darling, she has pretty spots on her chest. So these little speckles, that's how you can uh, feather sex these quail because these have little spots and speckles on them. Let me try and get the boy out again so you can see them right next to each other. So here we are, the boy and the girl. There you go, darlings. So this one, you can't tell if it is a male or a female by its chest. I will have to vent sex this one, but he's only four weeks old, he or she. Yeah. Aren't you pretty? So these are tuxedo. It's just a different color. Same type of quail. Same eggs. Down there. Down there. So this is a female adult quail. And this is the female. Close. So four weeks old and um, this one is an adult. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, see a pretty bird. All right, let me grab the boy. Hey, don't, don't touch the bird. Get away from that bird right now. He wants to get away. So they say you can tell by their faces, uh, their masks on their face. I guess this would be darker for the boy and lighter for the female. I just find it much easier to look at their chests. Boy, girl, boy. Huh, yes, you're good birds.
All right, and this is a boy. And you can tell because if you just put a little bit of pressure on this bulb at the end, foam comes out. So this is a boy. This one is a female. Of the tuxedos. I didn't film all of this, cleaning this and getting this all done because it was pouring rain. It wasn't supposed to rain for two more hours. I'm gonna um I'm gonna get these guys sorted, males and females, and then I'm gonna figure out how many of the new males and females from my uh, the grow outs that I put these guys I put them in the rabbit cage but um in the grow out cage but these guys are about six weeks old and I'm gonna sort them male and female and see how many females I have so I can figure out how many males I need to add in here to get my group nice and full again and get ready to figure out which ones are gonna go to butcher We have some ladies in here. Just that short time, somebody laid me an egg. Somebody laid me an egg. It's a pointy one. All right, let's see who's who here. Tell me a darling. Probably a boy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You might be a girl. You're kind of funny. You don't have a bulb. You're a girl. This one's a girl, but it looks, it's got a lot of coloring like a boy. Ah, there's just tiny speckles there, but you're a little girl, you silly. Ah, pretty girl. All right, and your feet look good. You stay, you get to stay. Yes, you do. All right, here. There's a box for you. All right, pretty, pretty tuxedo. Big girl, she gets to stay. Huh. Yes, you do. Go in there, too. Nice little box for you. This one's a girl, and I can feel an egg right there, so I'm not going to mess with her too much. Yes, go in there with them. What about you, baby? Swung poop right down my shirt. All right, sweetie, hold on. Oh, calm down, calm down. It's all right, darling. You're a girl, too. You're a girl, too. Ah. All right. You got an egg in there, too. Another girl. This one's got a, a bumble foot. And I'm going to keep her aside and try and uh, help her heal from that. Two little bumble feet. The city bitty thing right here. And one's starting here. Huh. You go in there. Who's next? Your feet don't look good either. Alright, so two females with bumblefoot. See I... Alright, you're a boy. Stop, stop, stop. I don't wanna hurt you. You're not looking so hot either. Somebody laid another egg. What, right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yes. Another egg. Hey girls. And your girl. And you got terrible bumble foot. Big 
Big, big. Good, so we're gonna keep you. Your boy? I got two boys. Yes, I can't reach you. Alright. Your feet look good. Are you a boy or a girl? You're a girl. Got ya. Alright, you're, you're no good anyway. So, alright. These guys are going back in here. in there after sorting them and they just kind of stayed. How many girls are in there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Six of you. Oh, seven. Woo! Nice flight. All right. Seven females to two boys. That's it's going to be okay for now. And then I will add Maybe go down and check it all out. It looks different, huh? Hey, funny. Here we go. Oh, so much better. So much better. All right, I think the water's too high, so we're gonna put your water. Oh, somebody just laid me an egg. Oh, thank you, sweet quail. All right, I'm going to stop stressing you out, and I'm going to leave. All right, Dallins. Oh, boy. So I heard that when you are ready to introduce younger quail into uh, an already established group of quail that you spray them with a little bit of vinegar water and spray the original quail with the same, then when you put them together they kind of think everybody's new, like there's no, there shouldn't be any fighting and picking on. I don't know how true this is, but I'm I'm gonna try it. Um, so I have some some of my I have my little six week old quail. They're actually they're almost six weeks. They're not quite. And of course, I cleaned out the the aviary um, yesterday and got it all ready. I I dug it all out and I haven't even uh, I I haven't cleaned that up yet. It's just too hot for me right now. And so I redid the whole aviary, put in some new straw, but what I did, because there was so much water in there when it rains, I lined the back of the pen with some patio tiles and then I put pea gravel, cause that's what I had. I had a bunch of it cause I wanted to do a patio when I first got here and uh, I never did. But good thing I had it so I could use it for these quail. Um, I put probably six bags of pea gravel in here, laid it all down so that when it does rain, it'll just go right onto the pea gravel. And hopefully the pavers or the patio blocks that I put down on the end over there will kind of stop it 
from it's coming down from underneath the deck it comes off the deck and it then it just comes right into the quail uh, so what I'm gonna do is I am I'm gonna spray these guys I guess I'll just mist them a little I don't know if you could see that because I can't see the camera it's so bright out right now I can't even see the screen so I I hope I got that the AC turns on right when I'm trying to film, so we get to hear that. All right, so I guess I just uh, spritz these guys. Everybody should smell the same. What I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm actually going to leave these guys just sitting in here uh, in the cage for a few minutes just to let these other guys get used to them and then I'll check on them a little bit and let them out. All right, well, it's super duper hot out and um, they seem to be doing okay right now. They're eating and um, drinking and hopefully they'll just hide if they get picked on. All right, I'm gonna see how these guys are doing. Oh, and I, uh, I did clean up my area finally. <laughs> Cleaned up my quail poop. You shut your cage. Did you want to hide in there? Hi, sweetheart. Hi, little one. Up over the top. I guess you look okay, huh? There you go. You can hide in there. All right, well, I'm gonna collect these, get these eggs out of here, and bring them in there from this morning. And I guess they're doing okay. I went, uh, I went and checked the weather. It's 95 degrees out. Who is hot? But uh, they're all set. They've got their water. They've got a nice clean aviary. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> They've got a nice clean aviary and they look like they're doing okay together, so. Looks good, huh, babies? <laughs>